Hello and welcome, this is Kendra, and today I'm taking part in a collaboration hop with a few of the Kendra's Card Challenge video team members and some guest designers. And today we're all creating projects with products from Altenew using the Challenge 12 sketches. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a digital download from me. So I recently placed an order from Altenew, and I'll first show you what I received, even though I don't use all of these products in my project today. But my package came in that beautiful floral box, and I'd never tried the Altenew Crisp ink before, but I bought some of that permanent black ink to give it a try. And I also got this glitter paper here. This is called Pink Brilliance, and it comes in four different shades of pink. And what's great about this is that the glitter paper doesn't shed at all. So it's definitely high quality glitter paper. And then this uh, stamp set here, this is a small stamp set, but this is called Tiny Sentiments Wishing. And it goes along with the Tiny Sentiments Wishing die. This is all one piece and it has the rectangle block below the word wishing that allows you to stamp a sentiment below inside of that rectangle piece but some of the sentiments include you a quick recovery everything and more the best all the love and happiness in the world the happiest of birthdays a wonderful holiday season filled with love and joy could be here with me and in this new chapter of your life so you can use this stamp and die set for many different occasions now this next thing i'm going to show is what i'm super excited about this is the stamp wheel. This has been out a few months and it's been on my wish list because you can do several things with it. It has a clear flip plate so you can use both sides. And it also comes with this photopolymer sticky mat. This will hold your cardstock and even your stencils in place. And it will also allow you to make mirror stamps. But what I'm most excited about is that it will make using layering stamps so much easier and you can easily create a wreath as well. I'll show me using this stamp wheel here in just a bit. But now let me talk about what products I'm using to make my card today. I'm using this stamp set called Vintage Roses. It's a layering stamp set with several different size roses and leaves, plus a couple of sentiments. One says Happy Wedding and the other says Happy Anniversary. But this set also comes with coordinating dies. Now I've used this stamp set in a previous video a while back. So I will link this video above if you want to check it out. When I used it before, I stamped a bunch of roses in different colors, including this yellow here. So I'm going to go ahead and just use those. And I'm also using two sheets from this paper pack called A Love for Stripes Set B, the yellow and the orange stripes. And I'm also using the coordinating dies to cut these roses out off camera. And I'm using card sketch number two from Challenge 12 for my project today. So I'm cutting a three inch square from each of the pattern papers. Now, if you complete the challenge with all 15 cards, you would use the cutting guides with six sheets of paper to cut all of the pieces. But you can also use the sketches individually if you don't want to make a whole set like I'm doing here. And I, if I had cut the papers using the cutting guides, there would actually be a half circle cut out of one of these squares that would be hidden behind the other square. So since I stamped my leaves in the mint green color, I decided to use a mint green colored cardstock for my layers and for the wishing die cuts. Now to keep things level when I glue things down, I'm using a scrap piece behind the square on the left and I'm just marking it with a pencil so that I'll know where to cut. And then once I did that, I glued all of my pieces down. While I do this, I'll tell you more about the giveaway. To enter, you'll just need to complete the form that's linked in the description box below. Hop along, and if you like what you see, we'd love it if you click the thumbs up and subscribe along the way. You'll find the next person on the hop in the description box below at the top. After arranging all of the roses and leaves on top in the center, I cut out the wishing die cut out of that same mint green cardstock. And now I'm going to give my stamp wheel a try for the very first time. I've placed the die cut in the corner and I'm trying to center the tiny sentiment stamps that say you all the love and happiness in the world. And since the stamp you is separate, you can see me struggle with it here a little bit because it's so small. But I was trying to scoot it close enough to the other stamp. And then after placing the stamps down, I use the plate to pick them up. 
and then I flipped this plate over and inked up the stamp with my new permanent black ink and I placed the plate ba back down and I applied pressure with my air hockey table pusher and as you can see here the word U is too far over to the left but no worries I planned on cutting out several of these die cuts to layer them up anyway to give it more dimension so I'm giving this another try except this time I'm stamping them separately so first I stamped the long phrase and I decided this time to use VersaFine Claire Morning Mist ink which is gray since I don't have any other black on my card and I wanted the sentiment to be a little bit lighter and then I stamped the U a little bit closer this time to that phrase but I went ahead and cut out one more die cut off camera and then glued them all together putting the one that I messed up on on the bottom Next, I glued down the flowers, and for the parts of the leaves that weren't level, I used some Colal 3D glue gel underneath, and then I glued down the sentiment, adding 3D glue gel to the end pieces, and then to finish off this card, I used some glitter enamel dots on the ends of the sentiment, on each of those ends, and I added some Stickles glitter glue to the darker parts of the roses to give it some shine and this pretty much finishes off my card it's more of a clean and simple type card but I think it turned out really pretty and I'm excited to use my stamp wheel some more so stay tuned for future videos on that but a big thank you to Altenew for collaborating with us and sending us products to use be sure to check back to my channel after November 4th under the community tab to see if you're the lucky winner I'd also like to invite you to participate in the challenge for a chance to win over $1,000 worth of prizes. For more information about my quarterly card making challenge, visit KendrasCardChallenges.com to get all of the details and find out how to download the free PDF printable. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.